I really appreciated that we were finally able to uh, look at, consider, and recommend a victim match approach. Your morning news now. The CDC is officially recommending booster shots for Moderna recipients age 65 and up and for younger individuals at a higher risk due to their job, living situation, or underlying health conditions. The agency is also recommending that all Johnson & Johnson recipients get a booster two months after their initial dose. These new rules allow those eligible to choose which vaccine they want to use for a booster, even if they originally received a different brand. With the new recommendation, as many as 100 million Americans can now get their booster shot. The House of Representatives will hold former Donald Trump aide Steve Bannon in contempt of Congress. Democrats say Bannon defied a subpoena from the committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The vote was 229 to 202, with all but nine Republican lawmakers voting no. It's now up to prosecutors with the U.S. Attorney's Office to decide whether to present the case to a grand jury for criminal charges. A House Oversight Committee wants the NFL to turn over documents related to its investigation into the Washington football team. Lawmakers sent a letter to Commissioner Roger Goodell requesting all documents and communication into its probe of workplace culture. In 2020, the team hired a lawyer to look into allegations of sexual harassment and improper conduct. The NFL took over that investigation later on and fined the team $10 million, saying the culture at the club was toxic and officials paid little attention to workplace issues. Rideshare company Lyft is releasing some startling numbers in its first ever safety report. The 16 page document shows the company received about 4,100 reports of sexual assault from 2017 through 2019. 360 of them were rape and there were 10 reported deaths from physical assaults. In recent years, Lyft has rolled out ways to contact 911 through the app and a feature that checks in with drivers or riders if it senses something irregular. Lyft and Uber have faced a number of legal claims in recent years from riders over alleged incidents on their platforms. The Federal Reserve is banning its senior staff and policymakers from active trading and buying individual stocks. The new restriction follows controversy over trades made by senior Fed officials. Last month, the heads of Federal Reserve banks in Boston and Dallas stepped down after criticism of their personal stock investments. The new restrictions also promise to increase the time, timeliness of reporting and public disclosure by the Fed's board members and regional managers. And temperatures this morning all on the on the uh, cool side into the 30s, uh, 20s and 30s. Definitely pack that jacket with you this morning. We are expecting those clouds to hang around throughout the day today and also those cooler temperatures too. The La Crosse Parks, Parks Board unanimously approved a lease for the former Riverside Park Fish Hatchery. Hatchery LLC plans to use the building as an event center, Airbnb and patio beer garden. The lease begins January 1st and runs through December 31st, 2031. The lease now goes to the Finance and Personnel Committee for approval before eventually going before the full Common Council. You can read the full lease on News8000.com. A new tree in Vernon County is rooted in helping others. DeSoto Middle and High School received a new pine tree as part of the Peace Tree Project. The tree was planted in a ceremony on Thursday and is one of many planted as part of an effort throughout Wisconsin. You can help make the holidays bright for families that have experienced domestic abuse. New Horizons Shelter is accepting sponsors for its holiday program in La Crosse and Trumplow counties. The shelter is asking for donated gifts. Details are available on the New Horizons website. It's nhagainstabuse.org. You can keep your information safe and get rid of some clutter during a shred event that starts today. The free event starts at 8 this morning at Harder's Quick Cleanup in La Crosse's Industrial Park. You can shred up to 100 pounds of material for free. Everyone is welcome and encouraged to safely shred documents to prevent identity theft. The two-day event runs through tomorrow. And keep in mind, there is a fee for anyone who shreds more than 100 pounds of documents. Temperatures are expected to remain into the 50s over the next several days, with chances of rain increasing as we head to Sunday and next week. Hey, everybody. Thanks for sharing your morning with us. We're going to send you now to CBS Mornings, and we look forward to seeing you right back here on Monday.